Hello cousins. Welcome back to Chill Alley. Um since 23, 24, 10 a.m. There is an energy that's overly invested in you. They're annoying to them. Like, they're way too annoying. Empress. Because whoever this is, I mean, they're, this person's nosy as fuck. That, that shit, they already annoying. This person is poisonous. Damn. Come on, thighs. Yeah, this person is poisonous as fuck. What's this? Like, they need really not to be around you at all. This person siphons energy. It also seems to be somebody with 0% self awareness in their nose as fuck. Page of Wands, Eight of Cups, and the Knight of Swords, uh, the Ace of Swords. This, like, they're constantly stalking the fuck out of you. Like, this is somebody that, like, again, like, remember I did that reading and I was like, well, oh, this is the type of person had to go through your trash and recycling and your shit when you're not there. That's this person. They're all in your fucking business. They're overly invested in everything you're doing. And it's like, I, I don't believe I granted an interview today. If you're talking, they're listening. If you're doing something, they're watching. They're stalking. Why? Wow. Told you. Six of wands, page of wands. Like, this type of person that look right through the fucking window. Like, what the fuck? What are you looking at? What's wrong with you? Wait no wands in reverse. Yeah, there's something legitimately wrong with this person. Eight of Pentacles and a Five of Swords. And then they're secretly hoping that something fails. This is so fucked up and weird. The Hangman and the King of Cups. So you're going for a new beginning, a new start. Whatever you're doing, I feel like you're just minding your business. This person is stalking the hell out of you. King of Swords is an investigator. This person is constantly watching everything you do. Five of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. They they pay attention to everything you do as if you're talking to them. And then they go back and they take whatever the fuck they think. they Whatever information they think they got, they take that back and they run it back to anybody that they'll listen For some reason, this person is actually look quite literally hoping that you fail. Ten of Pentacles is coming in for you, though. So that's that's how. It is. Like once again, this is a pocket watching ass energy. What are you, why are you paying full on attention to everything? Do I have anything to do with you? No. So why are you paying attention to me? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, because you've released um whatever the situation is with this. I feel like you've simply released it. The hangman and the star. In the chair, yeah, you trying to move forward, move on, move forward, and there's there's a shift that already fucking happened. This is somebody that has uh they got problems for real. This is somebody that feels alone all the time. It's somebody that feels like everybody just like it's like I'm the Empress. Everybody does what I say. Nigga, no. Not even close. Ten of Pentacles is coming in when they think you got four of Pentacles. So while you're still winning, they think you're fucking losing. We see who winning. We see who got it. We see I'm still in the bank making deposits. We see who switched up sides and who was solid. We see who stuck to the code and who forgot to talk about it, bitch. What's this? This person is trying to pocket watch you in everything you're doing. Like, I'm talking everything you're doing. They're full eyes on the prize. Why? They go to work and just be talking crazy about you. Like, this somebody that they really don't have friends for real. And this is this person's fucking delusional. They really don't have friends. You know how you have friends and you got work friends? You got, It ain't even work friends. It's like, this your work, your work acquaintances. Like, I mean, I mean, that's like my 
I mean, I guess we friends when we at work, but outside of that, I'm oh, friends. This is somebody that is stalking you on running back to have a topic of discussion. They running back telling everybody everything that they think they know about you. Point first. Three of Cups, the, the Sun, the Ace of Swords, and the Four of Swords. They think they, they, like this person legitimately believes that they know what's going on with you and they do not. They don't know anything. Why? Well, because it ain't they fucking business. Why are you in my business? Do we have any type of it? See, this is the weird part. I feel like this is somebody, they, they have some type of weird codependency attachment or some shit to you. And it's, it's like, oh, like, I don't know how to put this. It's just weird as fuck. It's like, man, you don't deal with each other. So why are you trying to make us deal with each other? We don't have anything to do with each other. Why the hell are you in my business? Oh, told me, get out of the face. I got the fuck on. Why the hell is this bitch in her feelings? This is somebody that you don't deal with. It's like, I don't want to fuck with you. Under no circumstances. I don't care about you. I don't want to deal with you. I don't even want to hear your voice. I don't want to hear you breathing around me at all. I just don't. Yeah, you're their favorite topic of discussion like you're you're their favorite thing to look at right now. Yeah, justice. They're quite literally praying for you to fail. Like I don't understand why. Like somebody somebody does not want you to be doing well and having dismissed them as well. That doesn't even make any sense. Justice in a fool because like you're you good, King of Cups, and then the strength. They feel alone. There's people on either side of this person. Nobody is fucking with them. They're trying to get people to come around them. Or these two specifically, the feminine and the masculine. This person wants these people to come around them, or you're one of these people. Nobody's feeling that shit. It's like, nah, I'm cool. I'm good. The hangman and the strength. Ain't nobody trying to be bothered with this individual. Either are you. So because nobody else wants to be bothered with them, they're not hyper-focused on you. But that doesn't mean anything. I don't give a fuck about what you're talking about. I don't care. Yeah, the devil and the seven of pentacles, the queen of swords. This person runs their fucking mouth consistently about shit they know nothing about. They run their mouth consistently about things that they literally duck. They don't know anything about them. Yeah, the high priest and the devil. I feel like just somebody that talks about you on some reckless, crazy shit. They use you as a topic of discussion consistently, yet they don't know anything about anything. I feel like more often than not, you surprise this person by the shit you do because they feel like you're focused on them. Like somebody, it's almost like this person feels like everything that you do is is like in compliance with them. So when you, so basically, they feel like when you do something, you you think about them first. Before I do such and such, let me check with you first. Before I do such and such, let me make sure this is, let me make sure you're okay with it. Who the fuck, who the fuck is doing it? Somebody feel like you're supposed to check in with them. Who the fuck checking in with this person? Who the fuck even are they? They got a name, but who the fuck are they? They name don't ring no fucking bells, especially not with you. Who, who checking in? Who's checking in with this person? Who's clearing their movements with this fucking person? Nobody. Literally nobody. They feel like you among other people are supposed to be doing it. They do it, you know. Oopie shit. Sis. Yeah, you got ten of pentacles, ten of cups, and the hurt. This person stalks the fuck out of you. You think I'm playing? You know I'm not. You know I'm not. This is the type of motherfucker. They go through your dirty motherfucking clothes for a bro. This is that type of person. Like, they have no boundaries. They have no no end to this. Mad fucking weird. They have no end to this. 
Ten of Swords and the Queen of Wands. I'm I'm gonna assume it's not you that feels Ten of Swords. It's this person. Now, if you do feel Ten of Swords, it's like they're they're trying to figure out why you feel Ten of Swords. Then they're taking that and they're running back. Tell this person is playing telephone with shit that has nothing to do with it. So when they do it, it's cool. When you do it, it's a problem. So if I go run and tell them all your fucking business, you don't like that shit, but you thought you could look at me and say, what the fuck I got going on? You're 0% correct about what I have going on. You don't know anything about anything. Again, this is the type of person that feels like you let information slip. No, I place information. I don't let anything slip. I'm very aware of everything I say and everything I do. I'm very aware that you're also stalking me. So with that being said, yeah, I place information. I don't let anything slip. Person's an idiot. What's this? They're a full blown retard. They scared. Like something has this person fucking spooked. The hangman. And it's because they're fucking lonely. Four pentacles. Before everybody walks away or before uh this person is completely on their own by themselves, whatever the fuck, they're trying to yeah, king of cups. Ain't nobody trying to deal with this person. If they was in a relationship, ain't nobody fucking with that. If they was if they was dealing with somebody, that person not like somebody else. So they're not paying this person no mind. They don't have a good love life or relationship with nobody. And you also don't want to deal. It's almost like you're, you're this person's last hope. Like it's like it's like a spare human type thing. It's like, oh, like your dog, like, oh my favorite human's gone, but I guess I'm cool with it. Like the spare human is here. I guess it's better than nothing. That's how they're looking at you. You like, yeah, that ain't me. Like, I don't fuck with you like that. We ain't got no business, no nothing. I don't deal with you. I keep my distance from you completely. That has them feeling offended enough to where they're stalking the hell out you. So that that gives me the vibe that they're paranoid too. Yeah, five of wands. This person, all they 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 are the fucking drama. This person is the drama. Yeah, the magician and the five of pentacles. They're they're scrambling. This person's scared as fuck. They run their mouth to talk about any and everybody. I guess that's a way to keep them combined with other people. Like, if I could tell you somebody else's business, me and you could talk about that. We can gossip about that. But if you're going to tell something, make sure that it's fucking facts. Don't, don't put what you think in and call it facts. Tell what the facts is. The facts is nobody fucks with you. You're on your own. And nobody could care less about how you feel. No one cares. You mean nothing to nobody. Not you. It's this person. And that's how your energy is coming off. Your energy is coming off this really non-existent to this person. That's why they're all in your fucking business. With 0% facts, they're all in your damn business. In your business. Eyes wide shut. Everything is in plain sight like a lobby. And they still can't get it. This reminds me of a Gemini reading that I did before. Like, you hiding in plain sight like a lobby and they still can't figure it out. Probably because it ain't their fucking business. And I feel like whatever you're doing, the comprehension level is theirs is too low and yours is too high. So basically what I'm saying is, whatever you're doing, you don't have the time to explain. It's like, it's it's so not complicated, but it really is for this 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 person, for what they got going on. I don't have the time to explain it to you and you too stupid to understand it. So we're done here. I don't have nothing to say to you. I don't want to be around you. And the information you have is not facts. Speak facts. That's something they cannot do. And they're not even willing to get them. They don't want to ask you any questions. They just want to try to, you know, stalk you and assume. They're playing Inspector Gadget and they're getting it completely wrong. How you getting it wrong and it's an open book test? How you fail on the open book test? Stupidity is something that is just, you know, you can't fix stupid. And I, you know, I mean, I think you figured it out. It's no point in even focusing on this energy at all. Because that's exactly what they want you to do because nobody else is focusing on them. They're at this point, they're they're moving around real desperate. And it's showing. It's it's sad and it's showing. And they're just they're literally conflicted and confused when it comes down to you. Their facts are not fucking facts. 
but believe what you want. I ain't clearing no rumors. The fuck? This person's a goofy. Like, again, they do everything for a reaction. And Five of Wands and the King of Swords, if it looked like shit for you was fucked up, they're happy about it. Not realizing nothing is fucked up for you, though. So I can pretty much see where that energy is about to go. That that same crazy ass, stupid ass energy is about to backfire on this person. That's the only thing it can do. I'll be right back though. 